try to crack on. Um, well, hello, Maris. Um, how do you reflect on the season as a whole for you personally? Um, okay. It's okay. That's, that's probably the word I'd use. Um, say okay. Um, disappointing. Um, obviously individually and collectively. Um, but obviously at the same time, saying that, I think we've all kind of turned a corner. So, do you know what I mean? But I've said, obviously, you know, I expected more. I think we all expected more. I would have wanted more and had the opportunity to do more. Um, but obviously the silver lining is that we've obviously been through rough patches and been through adversity. And yeah, I think we've come out the other side. Um, you've had to go through rough patches yourself personally as well. It's, um, it's, it's, been, it's been tough at times, hasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's been hard. Um, probably one of the one of the tougher moments of my career, I'd say. Um, I've learned a lot, learned a lot through that. I've learned a lot about myself, um, and you know, at the same time, I'm I'm grateful for it. To be fair, and like I said, the silver lining for me is it's good that you know you can go through something like that, and then now you can see the contrast. So that's happened, and now the flip side is what you what you kind of see now, and I, I take a lot from that. I take a lot that I was able to kind of do that to be fair. Because um, it's it's heartwarming when you you've got the fans now singing your name, even when you when you were sub um, recently and they're chanting your name now. It's 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 heartwarming to see that sort of turnaround, isn't it? Oh, yeah, definitely. And it's it makes obviously I think what the supporters need to understand is that even like with that, it makes like our job so much easier. Do you know what I mean? Because when you know you you know you've got that support and it's so like loud and you know, when you're kind of domineering, like, it's it's great. You know what I mean, it makes, it fills you with so much confidence when I mean, you go out and play, um, knowing that you've got that backing. Um, so for me, it's like, you got the backing from my teammates, I've got the backing from my manager, which I've always had. And then I have that backing now also. It like, yeah, it's great. And um, strikers are always greedy. You, you, you hit 17. Um, you didn't reveal your target. Did you... Have you have you missed it? <laughs> or yeah. You... yeah. Oh, so, so well, yeah. unless you score thirteen or something, they say, which <laughs> ain't gonna happen. <laughs> but it's, uh, yes, I yeah. that's, that's it. But yeah. um, do, do you feel then it's a almost a opportunity miss for a twenty goal season or whatever? Is that is that the way you see it, or or are you just ha pleased with what you've done in 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 a strange? Way? Um, I'd say for the first time in a few years, I've had the full season of playing um, and consistently playing um, and I managed to and then within that you know so I scored a decent amount of goals but I'm always going to be critical I could have scored 30 goals this year and I still probably would have sat down and said yeah I'm annoyed because within 30 goals there would have probably been an opportunity to score 45 so I would have still been critical of myself and I was sitting up with, with uh, Will the other day and I said to him, I worked it out. I went through all the games and I said, I've actually missed 12 clear-cut chances. So those are the chances where, not the ones where you have half chances or maybe you could have done better, the ones where I know I have to score that. I know in training, I, I score that, do you know what I mean? Like nine times out of ten, nine and a half times out of ten, I score it. And I've had 12 of those. So I look at it and I think, well, and that means I'm on 29 goals now. Do you know what I mean? And that's obviously that's disappointing for me. Um, so, and then obviously, then you can, if you want, you can then factor in, you know, the half chances and the ones where, okay, yeah, 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 maybe it was unlucky there and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's that's obviously the disappointing thing for me. But I think what I've done is I've given myself a lot to build on. I think obviously with a full season, the amount of games I've played and the goals I've scored um, and the kind of foundation I've set here now. I think it's given me a good platform to then kick on again now. I was going to say, don't beat yourself up too too much because it's it's been a good season, your best season for a long for a long while as well. So mm -hmm. that must be pleasing that you're showing what you can do. Yeah, that's what I mean. I think that's that's what I take from it. I take that obviously the consistency, like I said, in the the playing and scoring and stuff like that. I think that um, 
that is the silver lining for me. That's what I take from it. And the kind of basis that I've built, I say I take that from it. But like I'm still like, I'm I'm my own biggest critic. So I'm gonna think to myself, well, or know that I should have done more and I could have done a lot more. You touch on the relationship with Graham Coughlin there. How how much have you enjoyed that sort of love and love that he's given you in a maybe different way to to James? Uh, yeah, it's been a uh, been tough love uh, with the gaffer, um, and I think we've, we've you know we've learned a lot about each other um, since he's coming, and it's been it's been really good. Um, I think obviously the understanding that we both have now of each other has put us like in, in a great position. Where I mean, I love working with him. He loves. I think he loves work. He likes working with me. Um, I hope he does. And yeah, no, it's been good. It's been really good. And obviously, he's helped the team. You know, you can see like the kind of foundation he's built with the team, and the direction he's taken us in. So yeah, I've really enjoyed it, and obviously, the boys enjoy it as well. And this one last, one last, sort of last great on this season. Um, be nice to finish in top half, wouldn't it? Oh great. And then then that's that's the thing. We with obviously how it's gone for the season, that's the that's the biggest thing, that's the great thing, is that we actually have a chance to put ourselves in a position come, you know, uh three o'clock, whatever time it is on Monday, and look at it and say, maybe it hasn't been that bad. So it hasn't been that bad, you know what I mean, considering. Um and then it's actually a half decent season. Do you know what I mean? Um on the basis of where we were so yeah that'd be great for us to do that do you know what I mean and we have to just stay focused now and you know give our all for that last game because it, 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 it does mean a lot for us it means a lot and it will be lastly for me sort of you're, you're confident you can sort of build on this next season I mean there are some clubs with a lot bigger budgets than County but you've shown you can mix it sort of for them and uh, and uh, Graham mm -hmm. and it's building are you confident you can build and be up there next year hopefully Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely, I think we, we've shown that as a team, we've shown that that you know we're playing against the quote unquote bigger sides um, that we're more than good enough to um, yeah, match it with them. So you know, but there's no reason why next season we can't go and can't go and build on that. Reverse, it's just about the consistency um, and not just being able to raise our levels against the so-called bigger teams um, for us to be. Great, we have to produce that, you know. I mean, kind of every week, regardless of who we're playing. Do you know what I mean? Um, so, but we definitely got the foundations now. I feel to go and kick on. Sorry, could I just ask one more actually? So, but why you've had a you had a really good month? Why do you think it sort of clicked? Is there anything particular that that happened? Um. No, not really. I think, I think we, we're within it. I think um, earning the manager's trust um, to where I kind of have a, a freedom, really, to kind of basically play my own game. I think they trust me to I'm gonna make the right decisions and go in the right places. I don't get bombarded with too much information personally to do this or to do that. They kind of trust that I'm, I'm going to do the right things and having that kind of freedom on the pitch for me personally is a big thing for me. Like, I'm just, I am kind of a free spirit when I play, so I just kind of do whatever I feel right at the time. Um, and they've kind of left me to it within that, within that, and also within that. Like I said, even the factors of supporters behind me and all those things, it, I think it's all just come together and kind of help me to, you know what I mean, to produce, obviously, what I've been producing. Cheers, mate. Get that hat-trick for 20. Ah, thank you. Cheers, mate. Hello, um, Matt. I just wanted to ask the um, the guys coming in, uh, Callum and um, Charlie coming in in January, has that helped as well? Uh, oh, yeah, definitely. I think, oh, yeah, they've, they've obviously come in um, I did a different dimension to the team. Um, and just to get, like, they gave us more options. They've come on and changed games. And effectively, whether it's with goals or whether it's with their performances, um, as got us points, won us games. So, yeah, that's definitely helped us. And have you enjoyed that, being a bit of a men mental figure for, the, for those two youngsters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have, I have to be fair. Um, obviously, I look at them and I think, well, when I was you know, 18, 19, and you go into a first-team setup, sometimes, you, you know, 
well, when you're thrust into like the men's environment and men's football, you're kind of just left to your own devices and then you might have that one player or two players maybe that put their arm around you and kind of show you the way and try and help and really try and help you. Um and I think and I think I feel like I had that when I was eighteen. I probably had like a one player that would always take the time out to put their arm around me and kind of show me the ropes. Um one or two players actually. Um and I've always for me it's just always been important that when you I come across, especially as I progress in my career, as I come when I come across players like Charlie or Cav Bakes, that I will I will always be that one player that will always help them no matter what. Come to come to me with anything, I'll always help them and try and show them the way, do you know what I mean? Who who were those players for you? When I was younger. Yeah. Um I should say when I when I was playing my first when I started playing first in football, I was playing in the conference north. So we had like Michael Blackwood, um had uh Gary Birch. Um yeah, so those are the two two in particular, Stuart Pierpoint. Um probably names wouldn't uh you wouldn't know or remember, but yeah, I was like I was playing the conference north at Sully or Moors at the time. Um and they really and obviously play men's football and stuff, which was quite rare then to be that age and playing in the conference north at that level. Um they really helped me. You've you've had a lot of clubs throughout your career. You mentioned earlier that it was a very tough time earlier this season. Did it ever get as bad as you thinking I might have to leave this club? Yeah. That's a question that is. Um maybe, maybe. What well, then at the same time, it was kind of like my mentality and how I am. I am kind of always like, well, that's not going to beat me kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? I'm not going to let that beat me. I'm not going to let that overcome me. So regardless of what they say, regardless of what they do, I'm still going to keep drafting. I'm still going to keep working hard. And um, I'm going to produce. I know how good I am. I believe myself always. Um, and I'm going to produce. I understand things might not be great right now, but I, I will produce. So, with that, yeah, it was a tough one. But yeah, during, obviously, when you're going through it, you're kind of thinking, "Dear me!" Like, you just know that this isn't supposed, this isn't how it's supposed to be. Um, but yeah, you know, I was, I can't even actually remember the shift. To be honest, the shift in from I felt like <laughs> I was the most hated to then I'm the most loved. I actually can't remember the actual shift. But it was it literally feels as if like one day everyone. <laughs> Was that was absolutely it. Like, it actually hated me. And then the next day they loved me. Do you know what I mean? Um and for me, I just knew that, you know, producing the levels that I'm producing now and you know, it will it will help me get out of that space. Yeah, you're in a real different place now and you can see a bright, bright future here. Yeah, yeah. Um and like I said, I I think with what we've shown as a team. Um, what we've built over the past few months, I think we we're in a great position now to go on and, and kick on again. And, you know, after the summer, we like to, over the summer, we rebuild and stuff. And, yeah, we we go and do a lot better than we've done this year and we build on what we have built. I'm sorry, we build on what so we've created and, you know, the momentum that we've kind of got now, we take it into next season. Perfect. Thanks very much. No worries, mate. Hi, Omar. Hello, oh, mate. You okay? Yeah, good, thanks. Um, April was a good month for yourself, um, you know, just missing out on player of the month. Um, but overall this season, um, are you pleased with how things have gone? Um, overall, again, like I said before, yeah, it's, it's okay. Um, it's been okay. Like I said, it could be better. Um, it's been a lot better, but... Yeah, like I said, there is a lot of silver lining, you know, within the season that I can take. Um, you know, fifteen goals this season, uh, one game to go. Um, do you think you've proven your critics uh, wrong? That you know. Um, 
I don't, I don't know, maybe you'd have to ask them that, to be fair. I don't know, you'd have to ask them. Um, for me, the only critic I have to prove wrong is, or prove anything to is myself. Um, so whatever, whatever the critics are and whatever they think, then that is kind of, that's, that's for them really. But it's just about proving myself, you know, in terms of my goals and, like I said, I have a, I set a high expectation for myself and a high bar for myself. So, um, no, it's like, it's just about proving myself right. You know, I just want to prove myself right because I know what I can do. So, um, yeah, that's what it's about for me. But whether I've proved other people wrong, then <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. And um, just on Callum and Charlie, um, what have you made of them uh, since they've come in and, you know, your relationship, um, you know, both youngsters, um, do you resonate with how they go in? Uh, yeah, definitely. Definitely re resonate with them. Um, young, obviously, 18, 19 years old, um, coming into a new environment. And both got a lot of ability. Both got loads of potential. Um, and I think coming here, they've, like, you've seen the growth in them since when they've come into now. Um, I think they're five times the players they were now. So I've seen the in such a short space of time. Five times the player they are now than they were. Um, as people have grown, it's been good to see. Like I said, yeah, I have a good relationship with both of them. Um, like I said, I always advise them. They they take on information well, um, and I'll always try and help them wherever I can. Do you know what I mean? And yeah, obviously, I think for them, they just need to build on what they have done. And obviously, I think they've shown that they can definitely compete and play at this level. You know what I mean, one hundred percent. Mm. And uh, just on the on the club uh, overall over the season, how would you assess how the season's gone? Um, season two halves really isn't it? Um, yeah. I'd say you know, it wasn't thing results and stuff wasn't great. Um, I think obviously even when James was here, I think we had some good performances. We had a lot of good performances, but again, we're in a results business, so. Um, you know, you're going to get judged off results and not performances. But um, the second half of the season, um, particularly when I said the gaffer now has come in, we've got a lot more results. Um, and I said from where we, where we was, say, five months ago to now, we're in a position where we're looking at it, we can actually finish the season and think, you know what, it's not been a bad season. It's been a decent season and we've got a lot to build on. And we've shown, and within that season, within this season, we've definitely shown consistently playing against, like I said, the so-called bigger teams. We've consistently shown that we can match them and we can be better than them. So, and these are teams that will go up, have gone up, um, are in there competing in the mix to, for the playoffs and stuff. And we've shown that we can compete with them um, and we can be better than them. So with that, we can take a lot from that. And take that to next season, and you know, that will definitely that's how definitely give the team confidence to know that we can definitely kick on next year. Mm. And um, finally, I was actually you touched on there um, on next season. What are your ambitions uh, for you personally and and the club? Do you know you're around mid table now. Do you think you mm -hmm. can push the playoffs next season? Yeah, of course. Oh. Yeah, of course. I think that's. That was obviously our aspirations this season. Um, and we've got a manager. Obviously, Robes was ambitious. Um, we've got a manager now who's ambitious and won't settle for won't settle for mediocrity. So, and as a team, we don't want mediocrity. We want to build the other end of the table. So that's what that's definitely what we were aiming for um, over the summer. The club will obviously build towards that. Come back to pre-season. We'll... I'm sure the gaff will kill us. Um, put it all in, all in preparation to, you know, go and go and, you know, really kick on next year and and get into those, get into the playoff positions.